Welcome to MD Bytes. In this video, you are going to watch how to use solver data analysis function in Excel. So this solver data analysis function can be also referred as advanced goal seek function because goal seek function can be determined to identify only one input field value whereas solver can be applied to determine multiple input field values. So here, these are the data where we are going to apply our data analysis solver to fulfill our requirement. So we have certain projection and that will be applied based on the net profit. So these are the values of cost and these are the values for sales. And this net profit has been calculated based on a formula. You can see C7 minus C12 where you have the C7 value is the gross revenue which is $1487.50 and in C12 you have the total cost $777. So this has been deducted from the gross revenue and we have calculated the net profit in here. And also if you have a close look on gross revenue value and total cost, they have certain formula. It has been employed there to calculate like C4 times C10 which is multiplied with number of units sold from C4 350 units multiplied with the cost per unit 2.22 which determines $777. Also for gross revenue we have employed some formula you can see C4 times C5 which is number of units sold times price per unit. So these are the cost values and these are the sales amount we have and we have applied these gross revenue and total cost to determine this net profit. So the total cost $777 has been detected from this gross revenue value and this net profit has been identified. So we are going to apply these values in our solver function to increase this net profit. We are going to get a projection value on the input fields. So we have the input fields in this sheet starting from you can see the cost per unit in cell C10. So this is the cost per unit is one input cell and this price per unit and the number of units sold. So these three are input fields where we are going to apply based on these three output fields gross revenue total cost and net profit are output fields and these three are input fields so for that we need to go to data tab to bring the solver data analysis tool into our sheet so once you click on data tab you have to find the solver icon in here in data analysis group but here it is not enabled because excel doesn't provides in default so to bring in we need to click on file so once you click on file you can find the list of items there you need to select options so once you click on options you will find this dialog box you need to click on add-ins here so once you click in add-ins you can find the option called manage in here and you will find a list of items in the manage so you have to select excel add-ins and click on go once you click on go you will find this add-ins dialog box where you can find the solver add-in checkbox so enable this checkbox and you have to click OK. So once you click OK, it will be loaded. So then the data analysis group will be enabled. Also, the solver icon will be displayed in the data tab in the right corner. You can see the analyze group has been enabled and the solver icon has been brought in here. So now we need to start up the process of solver to get our profit increased and mean to show the projection. So just highlight, you just click on the solver icon, you can find the definition of it. So what if analysis tool that finds the optimal value for the target cell. So this is our target cell, which has to be revised and we need the projection. So once I click, you can find this solver parameters. So where we are going to set up the solver parameters in here. So the first cell, the set objective. So for which cell we are going to set up our target. So this is our cell, the net profit, so which is C14. So now I'm going to set up the value for the targeted cell by using this value of option. And now I need to key in the projected value. The projected value I'm entering in here is 1000. So instead of 710.5, I need 1000 to be my output. So for that, I need to set up the input 
cells in here so the input cells are number of units sold price per unit and also i'm going to add cost per unit i'm going to key in all the lo cell locations of the input values in here so first i'm starting with c4 number of units sold and i can just keep gamma and then i can enter the next cell or else i can also drag all the input cells like this so now i have selected c4 and c5 now i'm just giving a comma so that i can select cost per unit from here so these are the three input cells i have selected to be changed to assign the output value 1000 so here i need to set up the constraints it is not compulsory so if you need if you have the constraints you can set up or else you can leave the input cell locations and the projected value in here and you can go for solver option so this is the setup what we have passed in as the parameters to apply our solver to solve our problem so then the output will be assigned we will get 1000 dollars as our profit so now i'm going to click solve option i have clicked so now you can see the solver has been applied and the net profit value has been revised to thousand dollars also the cost per unit value has been revised from 2.22 to 2.08 and the number of units sold is now 371 and the price per unit is 4.77 so the solver up has been applied and these three input values which is cost per unit price per unit has been revised so now if you are okay with these input values you can just click ok and apply these values else if you are not okay with these input values you can just cancel and come up with new set of values by setting up the constraints so now i'm going to show you how to set up the constraints i'm just cancelling the option in here so that the values have been resetted back to their original values now we can come back with set of new constraints for these two cells price per unit and cost per unit so now i'm just selecting the solver so here we have the solver parameters and now we are going to add the constraints so i just click add option in here so once you click add you will get this add constraint dialog boss now i'm going to select price per unit so i'm going to set up set of constraints so my constraint is c5 then price per unit must be either less than or equal to 5 or it can be greater than or equal to 4.25 i'm just clicking ok now so that this is my first condition uh, it has been added you can see c5 less than or equal to 5 now i'm going to add one more constraint for the same cell so i'm going to select back again c5 and this time i'm going to set it up with greater than or equal to 4.25 which means the value for price per unit must not be less than 4.25 so that's my constraint in here i just click ok now i have set up both the conditions for price per unit now i'm going to set up for cost per unit so that i click add so i can get the dialog box add constraint i have selected cost price so now i'm going to set up the cost per unit so i want the cost per unit to the maximum two dollars it not beyond two dollars so it must be less than or equal to two dollars so i just select less than or equal to and i key in here two then i click ok so then my cost per unit will be the maximum two dollars not more than that so i have set up all three constraints in here for both the input values in here now i am going to set up the solving option so before so setting up the solving option let me show you the select solving method in here but this is not applicable for simple calculations what we are doing here but we have three options grg nonlinear, which is generalized reduced gradient and evolutionary model and simplex evolutionary is nonlinear and simplex is linear so these are the methods we have for these type of simple exercise we no need to have these methods so i'm just clicking solve so once i click on solve you can see the constraints have been strictly followed and the cost per unit is now two dollars and price per unit falls between 4.25 to 5 and the net profit is now thousand dollars so this is how we apply solver and this is the solver result i just click ok and i want to keep these values as my projected value and this is how we use solver to solve our problems in excel